Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Rachel and on this channel I'm kind of incorporating a little bit of everything. So in this video I thought it'd be fun to go over what I pack in our cooler when we go to away sporting events uh, for my kids. So here I am just getting started making some sausage patties. I did this a couple days early. Um, so I did press out my own sausage patties from a pound of ground breakfast sausage and I just doing, do that using some wax paper and a plate and then once I'm done with that I'm going to go ahead and fry it up. So anyways, like I said, we're just incorporating a little bit of everything on this channel. Um, I like to see what other people prepare in order to go to away events. This particular event was two and a half hours away, so I wanted to make sure we had enough food that we didn't have to do the concession stands or eat out. So right here I am just going to toss those sausage patties into a skillet and fry them up until they're done. And like I said, I did do this. Um, two either two or one day in advance I can't really remember but it just made it that much easier on the morning that we had to leave because we did leave pretty early on the day of the event I went ahead and warmed up these sausage patties in the microwave sliced open these ham and cheddar biscuits that I made I'll leave the link for that video down below and I just layered the sausage patties with some cheddar jack cheese and a hard fried egg on top, closed up the biscuits and wrapped them in foil so that the heat from the egg and the sausage would melt the cheese. So this is what they looked like when they were all done and then I went ahead and wrapped them up. I do put a layer of paper towel in there when I wrap them so that the steam doesn't make the biscuit soggy. Nobody likes the soggy biscuit. And then this is what the sandwiches ended up looking like. That was my husband's breakfast on that morning. Next, I went ahead and started loading the cooler. I had a couple Gatorade drinks and a vitamin water. These are for the kids. Those are the first things that they asked for from the concession stands. And then I also grabbed uh, out some bottles of water from my husband and myself. And then the ice out of the door of the refrigerator. I always forget to buy a bag of ice and we never use an entire bag of ice in our little, little cooler. So that works out well. I also grabbed out the Hillshire Farms um, platter that I picked up at the grocery outlet the other day. And then the chicken salad. I have a video where I made chicken salad and I will link that down below also. I also grabbed out some cookies, cheese sticks, protein balls, and some other drinks for myself. The final step for this morning was getting the chicken salad wraps assembled and ready to go. So I just have some low carb tortillas here. I put on some sriracha, shredded cheese, and then my homemade chicken salad. Wrapped it all up like a burrito and then cut the burrito in half so that it was easier to handle. I like to wrap these super tight so that they don't come apart in the Ziploc baggie because I prefer to use those instead of saran wrap. I feel like saran wrap is always kind of a struggle when you're sitting in bleachers, so that's how I made those chicken salad wraps, and as you can see, my husband's already starting to load up the truck, so we were getting ready to head out at this point. This was Paisley's wrap, so I didn't put any sriracha on that. That would have been way too spicy for her, but um, if you do that for your kids, make sure that you label the food so that you're not digging through everything and then if you're like digging through the wraps they have more of a chance of falling apart and then you got food all over the bleachers and nobody likes that so it's just a good tip to always remember to label something if you're making something special for someone but these bigger wraps that were for the boys and for my husband are on the big spinach wraps i think they're by mission brand but anyways, those make the best wraps in my opinion. So I just finish up making those chicken salad wraps now.
If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Rachel, and I am a mom of four. We are a very busy family. My kids range in age uh, 16 all the way down to five. So we have a lot of different things that we have to attend or that we want to attend, such as sports or school events, if they still had school events. Um, but we do do different things on my channel. I like to do some homesteading things. We have backyard chickens, and I do consider myself to be kind of an urban homesteader. We do food preservation and all sorts of things around here. So if that stuff interests you, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell so that you can be notified whenever uh, I upload a new video. I just need you, I know what it is you do I just wanna love And here's a final look at the cooler after it was all packed, it was packed up to the brim. But thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.